Good day to you friends and followers, my name is Gray Fox, and welcome back to For Honor. In this video I'm going to be doing the Kensei's 108 uh, character, the weapon, the armor, and what I'm using, uh, as well as a little bit more talking. Uh, I didn't do much with the Warden or the Conqueror, speaking of which if you have not seen those videos, then please check the channel as I do have the Warden and Conqueror ones already done. The full Warden unique uh, weapon set, uh, the uh, Conqueror's Leo Dagon, head and shield do not have the handle do not want to go looking for the handle at this point and then the kensei is is done as well so we, i will show that off and without any more rambling i will get to it i'll start here with the helm uh first things first i can't speak japanese i'm scottish and irish i live in the u.s so i'm gonna butcher names also jumping into this helm here the ayukawa uh the debuff resistance isn't there i know a lot of people get angry when they see that because it's kind of a hidden stat sort of thing where it reduces bleeding it reduces burning it has a lot of different effects there and i know the lawbringer with his stamina reduction abilities uh he can he can pretty much wreck people without good debuff resistance but i'm not really focused on any of those issues um you know try to try to avoid situations where i put myself next to fires or things like that so you know i like to just think that maybe i'm just able to avoid a lot of those issues uh, so far it works for me and that's kind of how it works into my playstyle. Uh, so I did go exhaustion recovery and revenge mode duration. Uh, I may eventually go exhaustion recovery debuff resistance however did not find a helmet that had those stats on it at all which was very aggravating. It's very hard sometimes to find the very piece of gear that you might really want. So I went here. This works for me for right now. Um, I'll update if it changes. The chest piece I went the Ari. Ari whatever it might be. Uh, uh, execution health regen I wanted max with block damage being secondary, but I couldn't find one at all out of all those things I opened. And so I end up going with the reversal and block damage and then execution health regen. Sprint speed is crap. I basically just walk around everywhere. Nice stroll. Can't catch people. But I like doing elimination matches with this character, so sprint speed should not be an absolutely determining factor. Uh, now I've with the arms, I went with the Irie, Ari, Airy arms, uh, block damage resistance, and uh, stamina regeneration. Primary set I wanted was stamina regen. Revised speed was an iffy thing for me because that says that uh, people are going to be dead around me that can be revived and not executed. And so I, I definitely didn't feel like that was a big thing when it comes to elimination. Uh, and I went block damage resistance to just sort of keep myself going. Uh, the blade. Uh, I have the Akia blade or Akaya or whatnot. This is the legendary blade. Um, I opted for it because I love the look of this blade. This is just so cool. Uh, obviously, attack is done. Defense is gone. No defense. Glass cannon. I fire this sucker. Hope for the best. Uh, stamina cost reduction is very high so that I can keep on swinging and uh, keep on getting those those poke pokes in as I go. Next would be this hilt, the Sasaki hilt. Uh, feet cooldown reduction is crap because I don't care. I, I mean, if I'm doing elimination, I'm getting it again every round anyway. Um, if I'm doing Dom, then I'm not overly concerned about um, my feats anyway. I just don't see it as being a determining factor for for this piece for me. Uh, I went for defense over gain my defense because my defense is so crap anyway that when I go into revenge mode, I want to be able to stay alive in revenge mode so that I can just openly swing and I can just get that damage in while I have that revenge mode shield on. Um, next is the uh, Inagaki guard I was going to go with the Sasaki guard which is this one but I don't like square guards very much I do like the sleek design of it being a smaller guard but I think this complements it very well I like this look um, and of course stat wise no throw distance I don't really want people away from me I don't really care about throwing people off cliffs I would rather just you know, if I can fight you and beat you then that's what I want to do uh, revenge mode attack, I sacrificed that you know 20% or so in favor of gain by injury because I have such crap defense. I figure that with me swinging it all and me attempting to parry and then the fails that happen with that because I'm not the best at it and I usually get beat up, then I'm going to gain more revenge overall. And then in turn, I'm going to use it and then that's going to activate this defense and then that attack is going to be enough <clears throat> combined Excuse me, with this attack. So I think in all in all, it's going to be a very good setup. It's going to be very um, 
very useful and, and makes sense. Um, and so far, that's exactly how it's done with, with everything I've done up till now. Um, not saying that it's the best out there or anything by any means, but for me, it does work. Um, let's go to weapon. Here is the Morosama. Uh, this is our Marasume, or however it is said. I, I'm not very good with this. But uh, that is the weapon that everyone has been wanting to see. And here it is. Uh, I thought this would be a lot harder to get. I actually got this within the first... I got the whole set and probably 15 boxes. So, I mean, for some people that's absolutely insane numbers. It's like 7,500 steel if you open premium boxes. Um, but considering the fact that generally when a character hits 108, you're looking at somewhere around uh, 40 to 60,000 steel to hit 108 to get the gear and to find what you want. Um, just to just to get to 108 and all you're probably looking around 35 to 40 K steel so that you can have all the materials and the upgrades and things like that. So, you know, really getting that out of the first few boxes, which is just there for materials anyway, is pretty nice. Um, I will say that that was the boxes. Well, I did a live stream and I actually think I found the blade in the live stream. And then after I did the live stream, uh, it was, it was probably five minutes later that I found the guard and then the hilt, maybe another five minutes later. Um, and as I was going through my inventory as well. So it was not a difficult set to find. In fact, I actually found, I think I found another hilt or another guard and I deleted it because I didn't have room and I just didn't want to deal with it. And I didn't like the stats on it anyway. So I got rid of it. I will say I don't like this weapon nearly as much. Um, I don't know, it just, it doesn't click with me nearly as much as the Gilgamesh did. And even the Gilgamesh is kind of an iffy territory for me. I do like the hilt quite a bit on it, but the rest of it's a little bit odd. Uh, whereas with this one, I don't mind the blade too much, and the blade's pretty neat, but the rest of it just doesn't work for me. I, I don't think it's very nice and very samurai and very functional. It seems very gaudy. It does seem very like high-ranking knight with the Gilgamesh, and I think that's how this one feels like. Maybe a high-ranking samurai or maybe like someone well-known. I don't know what you'd call them, by the way. Uh, and maybe that's where it fits, but... For someone who's a very, you know, devoted killer, then this just seems to make a little more sense. So, that is my character. I will show my feats right quick. Um, for what I use, I use fast recovery because stamina. Uh, chilling stare just for the debuff. Longbow because that thing is pretty damn cheap and unblockable. Because that has won me a few fights that I did not expect it to. So I stick with those, and that is my build and all the fun that I have. So... Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos on characters, please let me know which character that you would like to see me do, and I will do my best to get there and to get that uh, video up and the gear shown. If there's a specific piece of gear for a character that you would like to see, uh, then please let me know and I will see what I can do there as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Great Fox out.